Hi, my name is Ariana, also known as Black or Writing, and today we got another vlog. So, hello. Today is January the 17th, a Tuesday, had MLK Day off, which was Monday the 16th. Now, this vlog, I'm just going to be rehashing how my studying is going. Um, damn, now you know you can eat loud. Uh-uh, uh don't be doing all that goddamn smacking. Was not eating. As soon as I decided to sit down, she gonna start smacking and eating. Wasn't even thinking about no food. Anyway, before I got rudely interrupted, um, it's gonna be a little bit of a different vlog. So I am starting my self learning. Um, and what this video will be will just be like the, the behind the scenes because I plan on posting. A video of me just actually studying for two hours you know nice ambiance music and all that like I wanted to do that today actually I wanted to do it yesterday but that shit didn't work out so I'm gonna do that today and then the video I will post next week for y'all yeah cuz y'all got a video yesterday next Monday you're gonna get the self-study video or maybe I'll drop that on a Saturday you know what I might just drop that shit on the weekend you know and be like you know, if y'all are doing stuff with y'all, your book and all that, you can do it with me while we study and learn and do all that shit together. So actually, I might just post that on Saturday. So then back on regular Monday, then y'all gonna get... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, I had to think it out of my head. So anyway, so this vlog is just gonna be like the catch-all of what I've been doing behind the scenes with studying and, you know, what I've actually accomplished, you know, the week and then how what I accomplished during my study sessions yes yes so yesterday even though i didn't study i went through the entire creative writing for dummies book <laughs> and i highlighted all the things that i was supposed to study so character world building description i have my grammar book with me and i've highlighted the things that i know i need to study um so one was sentence structure the other one was uh no what was, what was it anyway so that's everything that I did Monday. So I preset the course of what we're going to be doing for the next week. So for this week, I want to fully focus on character characterization. So I want to do the exercise with um, writing the full page in my character's point of view. There was also another exercise that the book also said, which was to... Damn, I'm so loud. There was also another exercise that the book said was to write three eventful dates. Does that make sense? Write three things that was impactful for your character before the book and explain why and then list, it in, list them in importance or of importance. Yes. Um, and I was like, cool, I'll do that. Like, like this entire week, it's just going to be characterization out the butt, okay? Everything character got to do, we doing it. Whatever the book says, we doing it and we starting that tonight. Um, dang. The reason why... I really want to do the exercise that the book suggests doing with the three dates is because I've noticed when I was writing at Anaya's chapter, when I first wrote her chapter, I was adding things that I didn't know why I was adding them, but it sounded good. Um, it sounded like, you know, it, it gave it a little bit, the character and the situation a little bit more depth and you're curious to why her relationship started to deteriorate with her father when it was around 11. I gave hints. Why I gave hints about that, I don't know, but now I can figure it out. Um, so what I would do, I would notice being kind of like maybe a little bit of a discovery writer, I would write shit and I would add more stuff. I'm like, oh, she's going to say this. Okay. Why would she say this? I don't know why she's going to say this. I don't know what's happening, but then I would go back in my other notebook and I would just jot down. This is the reason why you wrote this in chapter one, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. So I was kind of picking back, going back and forth. So I feel if I write the three important or impactful events that my character has faced thus far coming before starting this um it will make me or it will hmm, i will be able to not memorize some more that's not the word i want to say i would i will be able to know what the hell is actually happening okay yeah does that make sense yeah i think that makes sense um so basically, I'm going to write the three impactful events for all of my characters. I, I only know two for Adonaya. I don't I only know one for Kashari. Maybe two. And then maybe one for Zadia. So I got to make all that stuff up. Um, 
but the reason why is because when I would write their chapters, I would add stuff, don't know where it was coming from, but you know, the character was saying, I was trying to be in the character's head, the character was saying this stuff happened to them, or they noticed changes in this, and I'm like, oh, why is this happening, Abriana? you're the goddamn writer, why is this happening? Didn't know why it was happening, would go back in my notebook, scribble down the backstory, right, of why that is the way it is. It, you know, it kind of just got a little bit back and forth, kind of like, ugh, like, oh, I hope I remember what I was thinking when I wrote this, and then, you know, so... I think this might be a little bit easier, a um, little bit more concrete, right? And I'll be able to find the things that I want to find or I'll be able to know what the character is talking about when they're saying something because I've already had planned the event and I know what's happening instead of their, instead of them saying something and then I'm like, oh, let me try to match this to make this make sense. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So anyway, we're going to be doing that all this week. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to vlog it and we'll see how we get by friday um i think my goal for this entire week is to get everything done with characterization so and then next week we can jump into um i think it's description after because is it i don't know anyway but you know it'll be in the title above what we're going to be studying because i'm gonna i'm gonna film that tonight studying characterization i'm actually really excited to write that I mean, not to write that, to film that, even though I'm not going to be doing anything but fucking studying, like, at night and shit, you know, with the candles on, playing some music, and that's about it, <laughs> just for two hours, you know, and holding myself accountable with my studying, so I will be posting a study video every Saturday, at least two hours, and in the description, I'll say what I'm studying, so... This Saturday will be characterization, next Saturday will be something else, so I think that's fun. I think that's something to hold me accountable for. And that's that's about it. Bada bing, bada boom. So I will see y'all tomorrow. I'll talk about how my study, my first ever study session went, which I'm going to do tonight. And I will catch up with y'all later. Morning. It is January 18th, Wednesday. I think about it. Um. So let's recap how last night went. A lot of things happened last night. I actually started back working out and then I wrote. Um, so let me tell y'all how filming this shit was. It was bad. I filmed like an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> like I said, this is the behind the scenes. I filmed an hour and 30 minutes of me like reading and studying. Um, but then I kept getting calls from work around like, um, I had some at 7 and then at 8.30 so I was just like so my video was kind of all over the place a little bit so I was like you know what I just gotta put my phone on airplane mode and I only thought about this because I was like the only person who has been there for me every time I need them at their beckoning or at my beckoning call is my mom why am I helping my like I know I'm a supervisor but why am I there to solve all their problems I'm not I'm not, I'm not their mom but I don't need to be helping them with every question they have so I just didn't I was really frustrated because I was like oh my god like every time I thought I was getting somewhere in the exercise or like my video was like filming and stuff it would have to pause because it would be a text or a call like are you busy I'm like yes like yes I'm supposed to be there for my team but at the same time this job is taking away from my fucking free time so I put my phone in airplane mode long story short I put my phone in airplane mode and <laughs> I sent out a text I was like after five o'clock I am not your supervisor do not call me for anything unless you are dying or something else has happened and you can't make it to work because I just I just I was I was so frustrated like it kept taking me in and out of my writing in the exercise so that was one thing um but I had a really nice workout before that so I, that's probably why I was so pumped up and angry because I was so energized after working out for like 30 fucking minutes I was like fuck why are you still calling me could you see I'm trying to fucking focus and shit but anyway side tangent um so I was able to complete all three exercises from my characters uh Zadia, Kashari, and Adonaya um where I had the three impactful events that were in their childhood so it took me a second to figure out Cause you know, I know what the, since all my characters are like 16 and 17, I know what their thing is now, like what their anxiety is and it might be what, um, what is a, a relevant term of turmoil, not necessarily a childhood one, but they were, um, 
it, in the book it was like you know think of childhood events that would have shaped the way they are in their adulthood or in you know their younger formative years and all that stuff I was like cool like I thought about it but I only thought like prevalent like within that year what had happened to my characters so I started doing stuff from when I think Zadia was seven she uh that's when she had an issue with trust it was like she's gonna explain it more and I think it'd be interesting to explain it in the story because you're like why she got these trust issues I mean yeah her dad just up and left but you know what what, what else it was something a little bit more before that I think that her dad being gone was like the tip of the iceberg that kind of sent her downward um but it, it had been events from when she was like seven and eight and she was like growing up and all that stuff one of her best friends turned out to be like a manifester and it totally like fucked up her whole world because they thought she was it was it, so I was like okay I added on to that add bullet points onto that so I was able to find a little bit more juiciness for Zadia for Kashari actually driving up here I had his three points already set um it was a lot of inner torm oil a lot of guilt with him you know for having you know their their number one uh, significant moments were the ones that I thought of first and then number two and three were like you know the childhood ones so his second childhood one was fuck what was it fuck what was it was it his mom dying I don't think it was yeah I think the second one was his mom dying so that's when he as a character felt first experienced loss and emptiness and that's an impactful motherfucking feeling okay um, and a life changing feeling at that so that's when he started to experience that's when he changed a little bit I think I have him at like 9 I think at 10 I in my timeline I have when he manifests his powers and all that stuff um, or his magic and then for Adonaya her main um, yeah her number one most significant or impactful moment was when there was starting to be like a wedge between like her and her father I feel like I mentioned that before but now I went into a little bit more detail um I feel like all of my characters have parent issues but I be telling you parents <laughs> parents can really fuck you up sometimes um so and then she has some mommy dearest mommy dearest issues so I have her with that when she was like 11 and so you know fa fairly young all in their young formative years and then that's what happens to make them want to be the people pleaser, the self-isolating, and the untrusting motherfucker that they are today. So yes, that's what happened. So I finished that. It took me about an hour and 30 minutes. The next exercise we are doing tonight is the letter. Um, for the for that exercise, it was a little bit more detailed from what I said in like the my previous video. Um, so instead of it being like a, a, reg, a, a letter, like this is how they start off in the uh, in their novel, and this is how they want to be, that's kind of like a resolution. Um, the exercise was to do diary entries, I think, for those three separate ones. So they would have three pages. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna do all that, but uh, for some of the bullet points that they did, that they did, that they did have words that they did have in the exercise for the uh, creative writing um i will do those tonight and i will film like the other 30 minutes to make this a nice two hour study session um i didn't know how much i was going to take my fucking phone battery doing that but i did um so yeah that was last night so last night it was okay it was okay um so let's go on to this morning i was brainst brainstorming i was brainstorming is that one of my tea windows i think it is i don't know make my head go this way uh i'm pretty sure that's one of the people i work with yeah that's right. um so while driving up here um i thought of a little bit more of an interesting tweak for kashari's background so in my in my world i have this thing called the what is the something institute like i have an institute i have like i'm making my buildings and stuff where things happen um the Institute of Science is like the most prestigious institution in the world or in the, on, on that continent, I should say, because the way I have it set up, they're, they're sibling continents. So the bigger continent is like the main island, the main island, the mainland, whatever. And then the smaller continent where our characters are for the moment is I, I, I kept going back and forth i don't really know what i want to call it yet but the capital city in that is called um abamar or adamar abamar 
because it has a little accent over it but i think i might change it from avimar to adimar anyway so i was looking at buildings and like putting my building names together i was thinking of putting um because one of the third bullet points for Kashar for an impact on Mormons when he had to start, you know, because he couldn't afford taxes or the house tax or whatever. However, I, I don't want it to be rent. You know, I don't want it to be rent. So I got to call it something else like taxes, house tax, whatever. Um, when he was 10, that's when the whole ordeal happened with his uncle that he, what he cost, that he did cost. That's where the self guilt come from. Um, and then he had to start, you know, renting out or you know having people shack up in his house but you know they pay half the rent because he's like you know i can't make this money that's how he gets into the ordeal of selling um it was called c but i changed it to crypt um which is the the popular substance being sold right um and so that was a part where it kind of was like you know i don't have stuff for myself anymore for me and my family it's like an invasion of privacy like we have to have all these other people like the realities of being fucking poor hit him right um and so i was thinking while i was driving up here would it be interesting if i had them living in some type of border house because kashari is like an unregistered manifester but with the ordeal that happened with his uncle and making him um you know a double leg amputee and when he manifests his powers, I would presume that it's caused some attention because his uncle ain't got no goddamn legs. So that, that would cause a lot of, you know, uh, that would cause a stir. So I thought, what if it would be interesting of, instead of, you know, Kashari, Kashari's the undocumented manifester, what if he like changed it so that it was his uncle, right? That'd be interesting. And then instead of them living in like their own house, in like this boarding house situation where, you know they still have to you know pay somebody the rent right um but it's ran it's clearly a government funded by you know the minor king and all that stuff um and it's also to still keep the manifestors on lockdown in their own area in no man's land which you know kind of like poor and destitute even though like the whole island's getting kind of overpopulated well really the, the city itself is getting overpopulated um the main capital city that's why everyone's trying to break out but they really can't because it's they're surrounded because that's where all the manifestors are because it's right in the center um so anyway like while i was driving up here i was like i really like that point that i had added in the exercise so let me dive more into that so i feel like i'm just adding more stakes as it goes so you know it's like a win it's a lose-lose situation for him because you know he can lose his home and all that stuff i just find it really interesting and i really did like that exercise of just coming up with three significant or impactful events when they were younger and then that just helped me brainstorm more of his housing situation so i'm actually going to get more into that probably damn i wanted to do that tonight but i want i want to do that letter exercise and i know that's going to take me a minute but like i said we're working on this all week although this week is short technically um we're at wednesday so i'll probably you know look up images on Pinterest and all that stuff so I can get my ideas oh also another fun thing one of the other exercises that was for the diary that I'm going to do tonight for my characters was them describing somebody in their area like you know being in their head and they're describing a person that they see on the bus or walking down the street and so what I did was I started to go on Shutterfly because I was like let me get some different pictures to look from. And Shutterfly has some really nice ass pictures. I thought I had all my characters like images selected for, you know, for their names. Cause I'm a person, I go by name first and then I go by what they look like. And there's this one, uh, there was this one um, young adult image on Shutterfly and she was like in like this cute little pose over the shoulder she had like this big ass smiling teeth smile she had a head like I don't know if it was like a hijab but she had a headscarf on she had a head wrap on and I was like oh my god she's so beautiful I'm like this is Adonaya like I need this to be her the only problem was it's this big ass Shutterfly you know logo the watermark across it so I was like fuck I really like this picture and then there was another picture with that same person and like a guy it was like cute black couple and all that stuff i was like i like that because i know i have adonaya wanting to be with sahel and it would be great if i had images of the actual characters two fucking together right um so i low-key went down the rabbit hole of going down shutterfly and finding all these different like portraits of people that i'm like boom these are their actor and actresses shots 
for my book because they were so good and they, they, they had the same actors or actresses in different portraits when they're smiling when they're not smiling when they're sad when they're in black and white when they're in color i was like oh i love shutterfly like that shit was that shit was gold last night the only problem was i don't think i want to pay fucking 30 dollars a month to get the shutterfly logo to go away and i think it will because i'm gonna pay you know it's a monthly subscription the, you know the watermark should go away but I don't know, the way I was on Shutterfly and I was looking at those images and I was finding the perfect characters, the perfect characters, the perfect setup and them taking and them taking pictures in a variety of poses, which make me felt, felt, fall in love with those people who I was looking at on Shutterfly even more. I'm like, oh no, this is, this is Adonaya. This, this is, this is Adia. This is fucking, um, Solomon. Like these are all my characters I see and now that I can see them in like different aspects with those different characters i was just i was through the roof i was really enjoying myself i loved it um so i actually think i might get a fucking shutterfly subscription uh, because it, the pictures were just so good they were just chef kiss so good i felt so inspired and happy looking at them i was like oh these pictures are great i'm so happy um so yeah so today we are going to do the diary entry the letter entry however you want to say it um for all three characters uh this should be fun and then i will catch up with y'all tomorrow tell y'all how that went hopefully i get through all of them no like i really want to game today so i'm gonna get all my shit done by five o'clock so i can go home and game for a while and then when it's like seven and eight i'll just fucking do my self-learning self-study cool uh yeah see you later hi uh it's me um by the way this next video just transitioned you can see this week did not go as i had planned so it is january the 23rd a monday i'm correct with that yeah 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 um so yeah last week around wednesday shit just started to become literally a shit fire at work um i was able to start some of the exercises start some of the exercises that i wanted to i started the um page and page entry with zadia but i did not get to kishari or adonaya um yeah after thursday i had some stuff happen at work it's just it's just the time of the year. The residents are just wild and out, and I was not prepared for it. And I was, I was, I was over it. Um, the work-life balance did not. It was not good, I should say. Uh, I think I went to sleep like 10, 11, still doing some time, some type of work, filing and doing stuff because we had shit happen at work because shit happens when you work with people who have behaviors so <laughs> the all of that week did not go how i wanted to go over the weekend i did no writing i did no reading no studying i um played video games and i think i cried <laughs> to my supervisor like twice i was like i don't know if i could do this he's like calm down it's okay it's like <laughs> this where my balance is just eh. so so in efforts in an effort to say now last week was shit for me i did not hit my goals not even like you know writing related work related supervisors we had to hit like our our goals our productivity and all that stuff and my shit was dirt poor right i was oh I was, I was going through the ringer um so this week I have to haul ass. Normally Monday I don't go into the facilities, but I'm going in the facilities today to at least start my productivity. Um, I did, and I am planning to take a mental health break Friday. I, my PTO has already been approved. I will tell my team later on, like, hey, once Thursday hit, I'm not your boss. Don't call me. You don't know me until next week, Monday. And I already know I'm going to have some oh, shit. I'm took my own goddamn eye out. Um, I already know I'm going to have some problems <laughs> with a few people who are probably just going to still call me anyway because they need help. Like, and I'm just like, I am, I'm on PTO. Like, I am not working at all. Not helping you. you you're you going to have to solve your own ordeal. Um. So, yeah. Like, I kind of low-key wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because what is it, like 8.30-ish? I got to be at the office at 9. 
Um, but I don't live that far, so it's fine. Um, I just wanted to talk to y'all. Like, I want to thank everybody who put those comments in my last video. They're so helpful. I haven't replied to every, everyone yet, but I'm going to. And I just appreciate you guys putting in, like, your suggestions and your advice. I truly appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, like, just <laughs> it's probably shit hard. It, it only sucks sometimes when I'm not in the mood and I know I need to be in the mood. Because what still perplexes my mind sometimes is how people actually sit down to write books like you started you went through the middle you finished I know it took years of doing that like that part like the long game is still so it seems a little bit unattainable to me I don't know maybe because I'm a millennial I don't know I'm like the long game in anything I'm like oh that 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 takes a little effort that takes a little, <laughs> that's a that's a slow and steady wins the race and honestly doing this book has been the longest thing i've ever done in my freaking life <laughs> like i've been talking to you guys about this project this project and it's been shifting for the past year like i ain't never worked on nothing like that long like like a passion project that i want to pursue never worked on anything that long like ever so Sometimes I just be sitting back and reflecting, like, how do people, like, sit their ass down every day and write? And if it's not every day, if it's every other day. If it's not every other day, then maybe it's, like, it's once a week. Like, sometimes it just be really fathoming me, fathom me, like, how much respect you got to put on people's names when they write books. Like, you got to put some respect on that name. So, anyway, I had that whole moment while I was playing my video game. I was like, look, I play The Sims. So, my Sims is, is an author. So I was like, I will invest into my Sims to make sure he could, he becomes a best-selling author while I while I was struggle busting it this week. But um, but hopefully this week I can. I don't even want to say I'm in a rut. Half of me just wants to just dive into the book and kind of like just fuck these lessons that I'm trying to teach myself. But no, I I know I cannot do that. Some of the stuff has really been helpful, especially when it comes to the character development. It's taking a lot from life, which I felt like I already did. Some of the aspects I put like that my characters have, I put in from my own personal life and stuff. But um, the uh, exercise is when it's working with multiple points of view at the same time. I think I might just kind of skip to that chapter because I just started reading the chapter. Um, so I might just skip to that one and be like, I just need to know how to just get the voices for separate characters. And I know one is like, well, cadence or, or rhythm, like how how they would sound or how you hear them sounding and trying to be able to match that with the wording. Um, if they curse a lot. One thing I've noticed, um, I feel like my characters when I did have all three chapters kind of like written out before, they look the same, you know what I'm saying? Like the books, the, the, like the words just look the same. So I'm like, maybe I'll make one character curse more than the other. Maybe I'll make one character pause and stutter more. I don't really know how to write that. Isn't that with the dot, dot, dot? Or like, you know, like trying to add that into her, um, diction is not the word, but like her, her speech pattern. Like I really want, Adam Naya to like stutter and pause and think about herself or think about words and then re say them. I really want, um, for some reason, I was about to say Zachariah and I don't even know where I got that name from. That's not even the name of my book. Uh, Kashari, too, because I know, I know what his magic is, I know what he manifests, and then I just gotta work on that like dual personality kind of like in his head a little bit what i think i'll do is i know a palm a storm in silence i think malik had that with um the the old song that was like in his head so it was like it was him talking to him so i gotta figure out how to make that look like oh he's talking to himself battling with himself because the magic is trying to take control over him right so that's something i definitely want to add for that and then i think for um I think for Zadia, I'll just have her, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe be a little foul mouth, you know, some, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not foul mouth, but very, 
maybe she could be a character where she starts saying something in her head and then she just says it like like you know how you think stuff and then you start saying it maybe i'm thinking i might have that be like adonaya not adonaya um zadia so just so i can get how they sound more you know to themselves like you can identify whose chapter you are in um I really think Zadia will be the most difficult because I don't know I, I feel like she's going to be the most difficult only because she doesn't have any um she's not like how do I want to say like she's not dealing with shyness so you know when you're reading Adonai's chapter you're going to see a lot of ums and pauses and doubling back you know Kashari he's battling with himself so he's going to have a lot of back and forth dialogue with himself but with Zadia, it's none of that really. It's just not basic, but I haven't found the thing that would make Zadia sound like Zadia, if that makes sense. So that's just what I'm going to be focusing on for this week. Um, I put my books, I, I organized my desk a little bit. I haven't busted out my laminated yet. This thing only came with uh, two sheets and I didn't read, I didn't read it. So I have to order me a whole pack. So I can start printing out shit from my PowerPoint because honestly I really want to just focus on my PowerPoint and printing out and making my book my series Bible I'm actually really interested in that I've been doing like the whole animals and the food and the money system and like oh I've been having a fucking ball with that I think I mentioned to y'all already but I've been having a fucking ball with that and I want to print that shit out and put it in a book form like I really do like I want to print it out and put it in a book form so yeah I just Excuse me, I just got an email from my job. So let me actually attend to being a, the supervisor that I am. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be happening this week. So this is probably going to be a real long, hella long vlog. I did record myself studying for like an hour and 30 minutes. And it was really nice. It was it was nice once I got the distractions out and put my phone on fucking do not disturb and just didn't answer anyone's calls. That studying session went really well. Um... So I'm gonna try to post that. I might have to split it up because the hour's a long fucking time. So but anyway, I will see y'all later. I don't know what's gonna happen with this vlog, but I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later. Okay, later. Yeah, I might just talk about what I'm gonna decide to do. I don't. I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all.